We will return here. Hot beards will live on. Hot beards shall pre prevail. This was a good fort. When your plans get moved to another day, is that a good thing? It I guess it depends on the plans. You are a good fort. Till next time. Your fortress has settled into the rhythm of day-to-day -day living beyond your meticulous concern. And it got moved to next Monday. Oh, is that to like teach people how to do the job where you work or something? Or is that for something else? Well, hell yeah. Less work tomorrow. More work later. This is a nice round number. Shout out to the last person who followed me whose name starts with a B. Um, because you brought me up to 14,500 followers on the dot. I've been at like 1495, 14495 forever because people kept on following. So, <laughs> yay. We're at one. We're at 1,000, we're 14,500 followers on Twitch. 14,500 followers still kind of irrelevant. That's me. <laughs> Feels good. Um, but uh, today was fun. Today was fun. Chat, uh, we've been streaming for nine and a half hours today. I kind of wasn't planning on taking that long to end that fort. But um, for reference... Uh, this is the world here, and I just want to check something before this fort shuts, before we shut down the, for the day. I want to jump into Legends here, because this is where Hotbeards is, right? Right here? I'm just curious about when that, okay, that, that Necromancer fort's been, that Necromancer tower's been there for a while. Whoa, hold up. Why is it showing as destructed? Not destroyed. Oopsies. I want to check in with hot beards real quick. I'm just curious as to why it shows up as destroyed because I didn't. I retired it. I didn't abandon it. Hot beards. Lots of history in Hotbeards. It was a busy fort. I mean, we did spend, like, more than 15 years here. The sweltering sands of the Crimson Pulley at the settlement of Hotbeards regained their senses after an initial period of questionable judgment, which is my favorite line of text in this whole game. So the nice thing is about this piece of history here is it's got all of the dwarves that died in here as well as the human criminal at Raji, the Empress says, corrupted the dwarf Tosid. That is what caused it. In 171. The human Hether Death Years, uh, who was pretending to be Raji. That's what caused the whole thing. Merchants from the Misty Howl visited the sweltering sands at Hotbeards. Rotten Beast Hollow was struck down. Yeah, and then right here. Uh, the Dwarf Ibel Prim came back from the dead. The Forlorn Haunt. But, uh... Huh. Apparently, I had a vampire in my fortress that was struck down. That's interesting. I had a vampire in my fortress during the fighting. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Who wasn't one of the ones that was in prison. There was another one. So one of those visitors must have been a vampire. Maybe that's what helped cause it. This is all the fighting that killed the fort, basically, right here. 
All of these dwarves constantly getting shot, struck down. <laughs> the gloved. Imagine having this title. The dwarf shallow corpse Salon Geiswild was struck down by the dwarf necromancer Maffle Tin Paddles, the gloved risk of depression. I think that if I were to have an official title, it would be the gloved risk of depression. <laughs> <gasps> oh, that's funny. I think that if I were to have a title, it would be the gloved risk of depression. Dwarf Dastut KD8, Bird Smear Suffocated, was slain by Kel. Welcome back, Bastet. The fortress is done. The dwarf a shallow corpse was uh, struck down by the human void hunter, Gustum. Climate fights. I'm pretty sure that's just like someone who doesn't believe in global warming, a climate fighter. Friggin' Bob was slain. Uh, let's see where Stone ended up, because Stone got uh, expelled. There you are. Asm. Uh, uh, the sweltering sta sand expelled. So Stone was fighting in the angry attack in defense of Hot Beards in 169. And then uh, the sweltering sand expelled Stone, and Stone went and settled in oiled steel. You're idling? Probably, but you settled in oiled steel. Where's oiled steel? That's a helix. Ah, it's a helix of the Crimson Pulley. Seems like a peaceful place, considering Zasset uh, Wieldslid died of old age in oiled steel. Huh! Apparently Nox lived here previously. Looks like a bunch of our dwarves lived here previously. Actually, it looks like a bunch of our dwarves moved here after Umber Bowl work. They all moved to Oiled Steel after Umber Bowl work. Hmm. That's interesting. So between Umber Bowl work and um, Hot Beards, a lot of our dwarves lived here. So they all moved here, which means you must have you you went back to a place that you've lived previously, quite literally. Interesting. Well, that's cool. Good to know that you you found a spot. I mean, it's probably safer, frankly. But um Shit, we still have a bronze colossi. I haven't looked at this at all. There's dragons, colossi, dragon. You dead? Nope. Dragon alive. Only killed two things? Pfft, pathetic dragon. Get good dragon. How about this dragon? That's a dragon. 24 kills. Got hydras. Multiple hydras. Many rocks, too. More draw bonds, classes. Ooh, male dragon. Cool, cool. Hydras. Lots of hydras. Lots of hydras, dragons, and tons of forgotten beasties. Well, that's all good. Zombie dragon? That tends to happen, yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm looking for that adamantine warhammer. <laughs> I don't know how many artifacts. Oh, actually, there's not that many. I'm just going to eyeball it and see if I can spot our adamantine warhammer and see where it ended up. Someone made dwarf bone leggings. That's distressing right there. The Barbarious Famines is was a legendary dwarfborn leggings. It's dwarfborn leggings. All craftsmanship is of the highest quality. It is decorated with lime wood and encircled with bands of alligator bone. On the item is an image of life with the animal societies, the black diamond bound codex and in bone. Ugh. That's a gnarly artifact. What else do we have? Anything interesting? It's a blind cave bear. Bone buckler. Blind cave bear bone buckler. That's a lot of bees. I give it a B 
X4. Bone hat. There's a lot of dwarf bone artifacts in this world. Or... Sir? No, I can't sort by type. There's a lot of Warhammers, too. Ah, oh, there it is. Apparently, Rhinestone managed to kill a dwarf with his Warhammer. Or, actually, Rhinestone managed to kill a goblin before the fighting ended on the last time the last time the the last day the fort was alive uh managed to get a kill actually or the last day that rhinestone was alive managed to get a kill uh during the coup with the adamantine warhammer which is impressive because that's like killing a person with an inflatable hammer made of balsa wood <laughs> that's that's impressive rhinestone managed to actually get a kill with that artifact um, in the early spring of 171, the goblin Neglissu suff suffocated, slain by the dwarf Rhinestone. So, <laughs> hold on a second. Rhinestone suffocated a goblin with this hammer. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! How? 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 <laughs> Did he like shove it in its mouth or something? <laughs> Inflated inside his throat? I, that's what she said. Um. <laughs> that or he like repeatedly like, th that or he just like dropped the hammer and strangled him, which is a possibility. Hmm. That's that's kind of awesome. <laughs> Push the handle against the throat? I guess. I don't know. Well. Chad, is there anything specific you guys would like me to look up while I'm in here anyway? This is true. The handle will not break. It is kind of an unbreakable hammer. That's a lot of beasts. The nice thing about this large world is there's just so many beasts. Ooh. Lobok the Mahogany Vine. Somebody worshipped this thing. Lobok the Mahogany Vine is a forest titan. I think. Uh, it was the only one of its kind. An enormous three-eyed scorpion. Ooh. It has two long hanging tails. And an astir look about it. Its dark pink exoskeleton is waxy. Beware! Its poisonous sting. It is associated with trees, rivers, plants, and nature. And animals. In the time before time, Lubok began wandering the jungle of cusps. The ignoble sacks are its enemy. That were... <laughs> You're just asking how many people are named Alvo? Apparently there's a, a forgotten beast named Strabo. Forgotten beast, only one of its kind, a gigantic uh, kingfisher with external ribs. It has a nubby trunk and it squirms and fidgets. Beware, it's poisonous gas. Strabo was uh, associated with river. Thraldom and caverns. Oh, A-D-O, not A-B-O. Wow, uh, there's a female Hydra with that name. Not very many people with just a name. Actually, I don't think there's anybody. Hey, there's Tail Grandmaster. Well, apparently still alive. Oopsies. Left Crimson Pulley, settled in Umber, se settled in the Umber Bulwark, Can a member of the Crimson Pulley. Huh. Well, looks like Tail Grandmaster's still in Umber Bulwark. A 
Also, Cajun Bard was their former spouse. That's interesting. Because Cajun Bard was in the new fort. Cajun Bard was in, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, Hot Beards, which we just finished. Um, but ADO. Oh, there you go. I mean, it's not actually that many. It's, there's a Kado, a Pado. Lots of Kados and Pados. Kados? There's one. Literally a Marsh Titan. Otto, spicy, was a Marsh Titan. It was the only one of its kind. A great three eyed tick. Ugh. It has a curling trunk and a regal bearing. Its yellow green exoskeleton is sleek and smooth. Beware, it's fire. Great. Uh, Otto was associated with water, plants, nature, muck, and animals. There is uh, the middle name of this creature. <laughs> the, uh, this this um, Hydra lives in the whole of life. That's what we're calling it now. Can I just say that there is a faction in this world or a group in this room world called the Room of Organs? <laughs> the Room of Organs. Mm-hmm. Yes. The Citadel of Stakes. They must hate vampires, then. The Roof of Arenas. They're very much protesting the fact that Arena Mode might not be in uh, Premium DF at launch. It's fine. Nobody cares. Um, but yeah, chat. Uh, I, th I think they're spelled the same, aren't they? Pretty sure Organs and Organs is spe are both spelled the same. I, I mean, it might be the musical instrument. I don't actually know. But um, I think that that's me for the evening, guys. I would imagine organs, and I would imagine that it is a uh, goblin faction that are evil. But, friends, ladies, gentlemen, everybody else, that's me for the day. Tomorrow's my day off, so I won't be streaming uh, because it's Monday. But... Before I do anything, I just want to say, if you want to throw some money at a good cause, um, well, first I'm going to pause me so it doesn't look weird. But uh, this is a Tiltify. The link can be found down beneath the stream uh, with a little donate button. Um, we are raising some money for uh, Project Hope, which is Hope for Ukraine, um, helping people that are displaced in the crisis going on over there between Ukraine and Russia under the Blind is Helping campaign. So if you want to help me help um, other people, you can do that there. I chucked I chucked a hundred bucks from my own account into there today. Uh, I matched the 